Welcome to Trading Lounge in the US stocks for the 22nd of July. Um, today we'll be looking at five stocks. And uh, this this one here, TSM, is a, um, is a new one that we haven't looked at before, but it's on my uh, 130 list. And um, obviously I was doing a, a AMD before, but I feel that this one has more potential um, over the over the future. So that's why it's been included and, and um, AMD has been removed. So um, just focusing on the daily chart here for a moment, we can see that uh, we've got this correction across the $50 area through here. And then we've got this push up here for wave one and back for wave two here. In terms of the trading levels, just in hindsight, hindsight's okay because you can learn a few things. Um, so we can see that we've had the correction, then it's come back and sat on the level here. So we wait for the first high above the level, and then we go along at that part, uh, and then we just keep bringing the trigger down until we until we get triggered in. That's the way that we do it on the levels. So we're at a medium level here now, and we can see that um, we've had this nice push up through here, which is part of a third wave moving up through here and um, at the $65 level. So the 65 is a medium level halfway between 50 and 80 here. This is also a little bit like group two here, 65, 72 and 80 here. So we'll see those play out through here. Um, have I'll just have a look at the bigger picture here just to give you an idea of, um, of this stock. Um, so this is going back here. So it's it's been working up really quite nicely. So. Um, what we're looking at here now in the bigger picture is from $50 up to $80 here and the 65 level here is the medium level. So we're trying to, we're pretty much sort of halfway along here now. So we don't want to go chasing new highs. We want to wait for a nice pullback and uh, the pullback will come in at around the, well, across the $65 level there. I'll just see if I've updated the four hour chart for this. Probably not, but that's okay. We'll just stay today. We'll just stay with the daily chart here. So, what we're looking for here, we're looking for a buying opportunity um, back below the $65 level here. So, this is a portfolio stock and uh, rather than a trade uh, as such. So, that's why I'm just putting that roughly there. So, anywhere below the 65, we can start building in and also we'll have the the pattern here as well so we'll, we'll have th this can even just push up a little bit higher through here so that's probably not finished if we just go to the four hour chart and I'll just check on that so yeah so it looks like it's going to push up further from here this is um, let me just move here so 60 65 roughly so that's the medium level there I'll just finish that off and do things right rather than shortcuts in Australia, we uh, we say near enough is good enough. She'll be right, mate. <laughs> so but anyway, I don't think this trend is finished here. So there can be one and two here and three and four and five here uh, and then coming back and sitting on here at this stage. So we'll just let it float at this stage. We've got enough on our plate, but if it pulls back to the 65, that's where we're going to grab it from at that point. Okay, so the next stock is a stock that we looked at last week for the first time called 2U, and it is a um, educational platform on the NASDAQ. Let me just get this here. And it's going to be a disruptor in terms of education because uh, you won't need to go to college, you can just go to any you can just choose a college online and uh and get your degree there <clears throat> or buy it off the uh cornflakes packet <laughs> so this one here look it's kind of the thing is is that um most of the stocks around the place and, and the indices and that too if we take this last low here we've got one and two and three and four and five coming in here so this is pretty much what we're up against around the stocks okay so i'll just see what we've done if anything on the four hour chart no we haven't but got the same pattern again so we've got this corrective pattern here at the 40 so we can put that in now we'll just build these slowly as we go um 
this will end up being like 130 odd sort of stocks and we'll slowly f fill in all the gaps, connect all the dots. So in this case here, we've got one, two, three, four, and we've got, in this case, we'll go up for wave five here. So another little push up here, and then hopefully we'll be seeing a move back at that point and then up. So that will give us our opportunity at that point. Let me just go back over this from here. So, um, so I would have to look at this just checking. So this would have to be the third wave here. This would be the first, the second, the fourth, and the fifth here. So that's how that's playing out. So basically, you know, it's the pattern that we're looking at here is this one here. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, that's where we are now because this move here has five waves in it. And then we're looking for that fold back there. So um, the arrival, the reaction, the one, two, three, four, five here, and then we're folding back and hopefully we'll pull back down here, but we'll get a, a better look at that, um, that position at that point. So um, it's just a little update on that. We'll just basically chill and waiting. Uh, no, there's, there's no point in chasing it. We'll just, we want to buy this again. We'll put this here. We want to buy at that um, minor wave four there, which is the orange looking fella not the orange clown trump but the orange number four okay so anyway we've got time we just have to be patient that's all you know, we want we want to buy in a correction we just don't i mean buying it here would be buying it like in here somewhere it just doesn't kind of doesn't add up so too old and crusty for those sucker shots um okay um Next one is Microsoft. We'll have a look. Oh, actually, I'll just go in order here. We're going to have a look at Tesla next. And um, let me just get that there. Just before we start on Tesla, I want to bring across um this is also on my list as well <clears throat> this is uh this is um uh workhorse um and it was the one that uh gm sold to these guys and they've brought out that uh vehicle here this is also on my list here and we can just see how it's pulled up sort of nicely here and we're obviously in this corrective uh pattern here so i'll give this a little bit more uh time to play out. This is corrective here because, because the volume is lower. So for a trend to be a trend, up or down, it needs increasing volume. So we see increasing volume in this trend here. And when we see a market pull, pull down, if we see it on increased volume, then we'd know that we have a downtrend. But we're seeing each one of these bars here in relation to the price is, is, is basically... Uh, diminishing volume so uh, there's no sellers in the market here so in this case here for this if we looked at the uh, the medium the medium level here the really one that I really wanted was the 1650 the 15 and the 16 but 18 this is really a reaction from the 20 here actually so it's all a little bit messy with all these levels on I know that but um the levels are here, the main levels are 13 and then 20 here for stock. So this is a, basically, this is a reaction from the $20 and finding support at the medium levels here. <clears throat> so this market can push up here. We can see that, we can see that this, 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 once again, see this volume spike here on this bar here. Well, you know that's positive, don't you, you know? <clears throat> but then when we see this one here come down, you see how it's on lower volume than the previous bar? And even these bars coming down here are on lower volume as well. So no sellers, buyers come in, no more buyers, but no more sellers here either. So when basically when you're looking at a chart, um, you're looking at the price. The price really is only 50% of, of what you should be looking at. The volume is the other 50%. And together they make up, uh, you know, they make up the whole. And then you've got all the fluff, you know, the indicators, the 3,000 of them. But they're all based on, on price and volume in some, some way or another. 
So um, you're far better off just reading the the, um, the the raw data in in these in these instances, you know. So anyway, that's another story. But I just thought I'd bring in workhorse because it's something that it's it's one of the ones on my list. Um, okay, so. With this market here, we were looking, if we just go to the four-hour chart, obviously obviously, it's still got further to go up here, right? So um, as a long-term hold, that's fantastic. And um, all these stocks are new to us. So uh, we talked before about, um, I'm starting this portfolio off, as you know, and I'm getting organised. I'm finding a little module that I can put on our website um, so we can list these in, a, in, in the right way. And um, last week, I think I may have spoke about um, trying to find a balance on, on, because there's a lot of, not everybody's got money, you know, but so I thought about, well, for the portfolio, what about if I just started off buying each stock at, um, say, $1,500 each and... Um, and then just build from that way. So each stock that we that, that we're going to buy will just buy at fifteen hundred dollars. And as the portfolio grows somewhat, then we'll we'll allocate. So that means that we'll manage it like a portfolio. So that means that, like Tesla here, is one of the best stocks on the market. So in a portfolio that could take up say ten percent. Now um, if this portfolio we've got other stocks in there as well they might be one percent or two percent and all these sorts of things as as tesla moves up further up here say and then tesla goes from being 10 percent of the portfolio to 15 percent of the portfolio well then we will reduce and sell off um some of that tesla shares there to bring us keep our portfolio at 10 percent for tesla and then taking that profit we would be putting it back into um, other positions um, to keep a balanced portfolio. That's just basic portfolio management, okay? So we'll be looking at that. But when I'm putting these buy signals out for portfolios, they're just going to be roughly around $1,500, whatever you can buy for $1,500. Um, and I did that partly because of the brokerage as well. So um, I will be... Um, I'm in Australia. I want to keep my um, positions uh, in my my uh, account in Australia for this. So I will be using a local uh, bank for that, and I'll need to pay brokerage. So the brokerage will be ten or twenty dollars per trade, and um, you know that that's in, and then you know twenty dollars out again. So that's that's quite a cost. Um, I know that you can get free free brokerage, um, but I don't want to. I don't want to play with with companies like Webull and all those guys that have dark pools of of money and they're front running you and all those sorts of things. You know, they might say it's free brokerage, but it's not free. Not not when you pull it apart. So I, I I'm going. I, I I want to go with a you know a solid bank and and pay. I'd rather pay the brokerage and even trading forex. You know, I don't like. Um, I, I don't want to. I don't want to play the spread I'd rather pay the brokerage I like to know where I stand and and uh, I don't want any slippage and those sorts of things anyway that's another story this here if we go to the four hour chart here so with the four hour chart here we were last time we spoke we were looking from wave two down here up to wave three at the top there and we know that we had the 38.2 percent retracement level come in here right so it's possible that we can have wave four sitting here the other thing is we can have an a and a b and a c wave coming back here for this um so if i go to the tick chart here i think we were talking about it so this is wave three over here. We counted five waves down here. So the other side to this too, I think from memory, is we were looking at taking the bottom and the top there and looking at the 61.8%, which came in on the medium level here, the 1650. I know it's an odd looking number and uh, so on, but um, it's important. And as you get to know the trading levels and me, you'll see <clears throat> this number plus some other odd numbers around as well. Um, so this situation here is that currently in our portfolio, we've got one Tesla share. 
right? Um, if you haven't got one, then the buying opportunity will be back down here at this point. Otherwise, if the market moves up through here, then you'll have to move, you'll have to take it at that point. So we've either got wave A here and then wave B here as we're expecting, and then we're also looking for wave C to come down. So wave C here should be roughly the same length as this here. I don't know if it's going to come down because I know stocks have got a little bit further to push to the upside. Um, but it's reached at 61.8%. So if it climbs up here on support, then you'll need to go along from that point so or purchase one so the market would come up react there like it has done here and then have the first high above the level so then after the first high above the level that's your reference point i'm drawing here but it should be over here i can't draw on the tick chart over here so these become the levels over here so if you don't have one share of this then this is the time to get it it's either you're lucky you may get it down here at the 1500 or you're going to have to buy it at the 1650 up here but um yeah okay moving on we're going to have a look at the next stock which is where invite so i'll just bring that up i'll just put this back on back on the daily chart here pop that in there this one here so just on the just to get a bit of thing here i mean i really like this one you know um so coming back to these lows over here we counted one and two and three and four and five for wave one here nice abc for wave two here and then we're going up up this way so um we're going up this way in such a way that we'll be looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five for wave one, and then back for wave two, and then up for wave three, four, and five to make the third wave of this one here. So we've got a long way to travel. This is this has got a long way to travel. So um, this is a long term hold. This one. So um, once again here, I wasn't quite sure how we should get this out. I can't, I can't get enough tick chart data on this particular stock to um, to go back in here and sort this out a little bit here. So it could be up for one here and back for two here, then up for one here and back for two here. It probably is the more that I look at it here as well. It's probably like this. Let me just... This would give me a chance because I know what the other wave counts are around the around the place whoops a daisy so in this case we can just shift this over here and we'll put this one here we'll put this one here we'll just move that out of the way for a moment that third wave here this one here in that case then that would be one, two, three, four, five, A, B, and C here, or that could even be up one for the next one. So I'm just going to take it from this one here just in case. And that gives us a 38.2% retracement level, which is quite close to the um, previous wave four of one lesser degree. So we can kind of come in here. We should see that. Normally the distance above is the distance below that we'll get as well for this. I know the market's still a bit bullish at the moment, so we can move that up into here. So that's where we're going to be buying there, anywhere below that 30 there. That said, this up here, this is what can also occur here. This fifth wave can come in. How quickly it comes in is yet to know. So what we need to do as a trade in this case, we can just go long above that, above that high here for that. Um, but in a nutshell, we should be looking at this here. This will probably be, be a little bit higher than that at that point. Let me just have a look on the four hour chart here. Just trying to, okay, so I've got one and two. This I can't get any more data, not much more data past this. And you know, one, two, three, four, five. So I know I've got that, but I've also got this here as an A and a B and a C wave here. So this may be up for one here and coming back for two here and then move on. So you can go along above there, but remember that we also want to buy if it comes below the 30 we we're interested in it to to buy at that stage um, otherwise we're going to have to buy it um, at this stage at this point here 
So um, that's that, and uh, the next one is Microsoft. Oops, Daisy. So I may have changed this count around a little bit. Um, so yeah. Um, like I say, um, I haven't been doing these US stocks. It's not like I've been doing them for years. So I need to build up my knowledge base and I need to spend time with them and understand them and all the rest of it. But I think we're somewhere like this here at the moment for this. So uh, one and two here, then one and two here. And then all the way up to the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here for this and then back for the fourth and then up for uh, this one and that one. So really we're quite bullish up until the ele the elections I'd imagine uh, and then we'll be looking at this one and two here, the uncertainty of everything. Uh, coming back here, but that will that uncertainty will give us that give us the best buying opportunity um, that we're going to see for a long time. So um, that's that's the timing on it all. And um, let's just go into the four hour chart here and see what I've done. Okay, so um, right, just we'll just work from here though. So one and two and one and two and one and two here, and then we're looking at this as one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave for the wave three here, and then coming back for the wave four here. I just want to double check this two here. Thirty-eight point two is just below the hundred. I mean, we're kind of close to it. I mean, this is what I can't figure out. We may have this way four already in play here, or and, and we're going up for this one here. And if that's the case, then we'll be looking at these markets going here as up for one, back for two here, and then we're going to go up for three, four, and five, something like that. And then we'll be heading back here for a bit, and then we'll go up from that point. It's either that or we're going to be coming down to that 38.2% retracement level, so which is the wave four of one lesser degree, which is this one here, and the third, well, it's pretty much there really, so I'll just leave it there, then move that. So I don't know if we're going to be coming straight down for that. And then we go up for that. But um, let me just have a look at the tick chart. Let's see what we can have a look at here. I mean, I can count this as, as, as one here and A, B, C here for two, down for three, back for four, which is quite high here, then one and two and five waves in here for three, four, five. Or we could look at this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here because it does pull back up to the 61.8% from, I have to take that there. So it comes right onto the 61.8%. So, it, you know, it's kind of Arthur or Martha. I hate it when it's like that. Um, um, so I just don't, I don't know. I haven't had time to really sort of soak it up at this point, but it does look rather impulsive to here. So... If you are going to go long, then above here is the is the trigger for, and I'd call this a trade rather than a portfolio buy. This one because we'll, I'll, we'll we want to get it later at a at a better, um, not so much at a better price, but in a better position really. So <clears throat> I'll just put t there for trade rather than than um, a portfolio situation because the portfolio situation would be I'll tell you here is well there's two two points i mean this is this is the um this is the tricky little bit about the whole about the whole u.s market at the moment you know it's we've got we've got this to go here 
and some stocks are more advanced than this than others and then we would have wave four here right and then we would have wave five here and then this one here is really going to you know it could do something like this here and then push off from that point so um it's really this one that we want so we can trade that and get out we can watch this i don't like trading against the trends that much unless it's um big en unless it's big enough you know like this um so wave four will sit out and then we've got we can trade wave five up but not as a portfolio trade but as a trade um in that case So really it's this wave one and two here in most of the stocks, most of the indices around the world that would be looking at. So um, uh, as Aditha said, a um, friend of ours on YouTube mentioned that uh, this should tie in with the elections. I think that's what he said. Uh, and that looks about right to me. So, um, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.